Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Now, I've gotten a couple uh, messages and people have asked why I don't uh, ever appear on my videos or why I don't um, send out more information about myself or, you know, in terms of letting people uh, get to know me. Uh, one reason for that is my videos pretty much aren't about me. I've always stated that for the most part my videos are about the hobby and being able to help out other people. And whether someone or whether my videos get one view or 10,000 views, um, it really doesn't make a difference to me as long as someone can find my videos interesting or helpful. I've posted many videos showing people how to solve problems, easy, simple fixes, and that was always the intention, and it still is the intention. Um, I want people to view my videos and come away knowing that they're smarter, they know more about um, the arcade hobby, or that, well, basically I was able to help them solve a problem. So really, the only time people get to know things about me, um, there's a couple videos I had where I was tagged. Um, I don't know if people still do that. That was when uh, someone tags you and then you make a video and you give out five pieces of information about yourself. There's a couple videos I have of that. And really, the only other time uh, people get to know more about me personally is when I show my game room tours. And that's when people can see some of the other things I like. But what I thought I'd do is uh, basically just give a tiny little piece of information about my past. Basically, it's uh, let's just call it Moomert One Memories. So here's the thing. When I was growing up, I had one thing that I loved to collect more than anything. And I think I was only collecting these things for a couple years or whatever. Now you're looking right here and you're thinking, well, it's probably baseball cards, or football cards, or something like that. And wouldn't you know it, my battery is going to die. But let me go charge up my phone, or let me go charge up the camera, and then we'll get on with this video. Okay, here we are. We're back. I got the battery on my camera fully recharged. Now anyways, as I was saying, you look at this uh, book here and you're probably thinking uh, baseball cards or football cards or um, whatever was popular at that time. Keep in mind this is um, what probably the early 80s, probably early to mid 80s I think, I can't remember. Anyways, well it's neither of those things. but you know, I used to collect these when I was younger, and parents usually hated these, schools hated these, and kids loved these things. Now, the only time I was, a I was ever able to get these was when I went to visit my grandparents during my school vacations, uh, or school breaks, whether that was Christmas break, uh, spring break, um, summer vacation, stuff like that. My parents would never buy me these things but my grandparents would. So, what I used to collect are these. Now, some of you who recognize this, you automatically know what these things are. Those who don't, these are Garbage Pail Kids cards. Now, these were kind of made as to make fun of the other trend of the 80s, which was the Cabbage Patch Kids. And as you can see, these things are vulgar and disgusting and totally awesome. Now, these uh, cards were remade, I think, in a couple years ago. Um, they were reissued. They looked a little bit different. Um, I don't really care for those. I always you know, have my memories with the vintage cards. Are they valuable? Well, the first series is. Um, the rest of them, you know, it's not going to give you a great retirement but you know this is my whole collection here um, I started to get these again not too long ago just because they brought back memories 
And eventually I'll just have the whole original set, the whole um, set from the 80s, just to say I have it. So it's not like I'm really collecting or, you know, if somebody made me a great offer on this, I'd probably sell it right away. So it doesn't have that much sentimental value. But you can see these things and you're probably looking and you can see you got two here and there's some others. The first uh, series is very hard to get and they're expensive. You got two others right here that look the same but although they look the same they're different names. So right there you see you got Greaser Greg and Chris Hiss. Now these are actually stickers on here. Uh, Porn Lauren. So these things were collectible as kids. We love to get these things. And on the back of the cards, there'd be some like some type of a writing award or a checklist. Others, it'd be a piece of a puzzle. So you get all the cards, you turn them over, and it creates one big giant uh, garbage pail kid card. Uh, this one right here, I remember this one was very popular, I think because Transformers uh, was very popular and this kind of looked like a uh, Transformer. But yeah, uh, these things were usually about a dollar a pack and, you know, on the school playground it was kind of like money. You could trade them around, you can sell them to other kids, you can, hey, you didn't like uh, the lunch your mom packed, you trade them away for the peanut butter and jelly sandwich that, you know, your friend has. And these things, are, they're just pretty much vulgar, uh, disgusting, uh, and funny all at the same time. Let's see, that's uh, Charlotte Webb. Hopefully the camera is focusing in pretty good. As the series went on, um, the backs of the cards changed a little bit. And you can see they got these uh, wanted posters just give you a quick look right there <clears throat> US Arnie there he is picking his nose that snotty Sam wanted for mental cruelty I remember uh, one time, I think uh, during Halloween, uh, there was one house that was actually giving away cards instead of candy. It's probably a heck of a lot cheaper. Because with what, one dollar you could give away 15, uh, was it 15 per pack? I'm not quite sure, don't remember. But as the series went on, they kind of got worse and worse in terms of vulgarity. And then uh, it kind of turned back. Yeah. Mm, let's see. I used to trade these with my cousins. Actually, my one cousin. Um, the one boy cousin I had at the time. Uh, we would trade these. We'd see each other at Christmas breaks. Uh, we'd pretty much all go down to my grandparents' house. Uh, my female cousin, his sister at the time, you know, girl, thought these were naturally disgusting. But that was, you know, part of the fun. Oh, here we go. That picture right there, that's one of the puzzles. And you can see right here, this is part of right there. So you collect all of these. There's probably uh, 12 cards, um, maybe uh, 16. And you turn them over, and it creates that giant picture. So like I said, I eventually plan to you know get the whole series just to say that I do have it. Um, probably collecting it as a whole series, you could probably sell it off. Probably make a couple hundred bucks, really not sure. There are certain cards um, through the original series that uh, for whatever reason are just priced an arm and a leg. They're probably errors of some sort. Let's go towards the end. 
And of course, you know, certain cards were more desired than others. And you know, you'd be on the on the playground or after school with your friends, and you know, you'd want a certain card, and you would offer them uh, five different cards for that one particular card. So, in a way, it was almost like uh, baseball cards in terms of um, value on the playground, so to speak. You know, um, a card wouldn't have any monetary value all that much, but to kids, they would be worth other valuables. Uh, you trade them for colorful pencils, uh, you trade these things to copy someone's homework, um, you know, trade them away to get other things. Interesting. So if there are other, if there are some of you viewers who were children of the 80s, you know, which I personally think is the best decade ever, that's just my opinion, but yeah, you'll probably have flashbacks with these things. Divin Ivan, Walter Sport. You know, there was vulgarities, a lot of toilet humor, a lot of uh, runny noses and snot and all that other stuff of the sorts. And I remember just going everywhere and you'd see these things. Kids would stick them on counters in stores, you'd see them on uh, telephone poles, um, was it the telephones in the streets? Pay phones. That's uh and you're probably wondering why, you know, some of these pages only have a few cards filled. Well, that's because I set these pages up to go in uh, numerical order. So you know, this one I got number 346B. This is reserved for 346A, 347A, 347B, 348A, but I do have 348B. So, yeah, not sure if anyone cares, but I'm giving you the information anyways. Ah, uh, there's something. Dent Al, Fluoride Ida. You know, when you, when you think you're a real young kid, or, you know, probably, what, under 10 years old at the time, I really can't remember. There's only certain things I remember of that time, but, you know, this type of uh, humor kids liked, at least back then. You know, and some of these things, you know, I would when I would go back home... As time went on, I'd see other kids with some of these later series of the cards, and of course, I would never be able to get those. My parents wouldn't allow it. Um, they probably wouldn't care if I bought them with my allowance money, but seeing as I never had any money, you know, they just wouldn't buy them for me. Plus, the other thing is, at the time, I think you could only get these in, like, liquor stores. And my parents just... Uh, they didn't never went to a liquor store that I'm aware of. Now, as you can see, as the series went on, the design of the children actually started to become more uh, doll-like versus um, Cabbage Patch Kid-like. Um, don't really know how to explain it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you probably never will. But. You know, I'm not quite sure when these things died out. It's probably information on Wiki. But yeah, this is uh, just a little something about me that, well, that I just share. I actually had uh, one viewer ask me a couple, you know, questions as to why I don't share more, and I already explained that. But you know, I don't see any harm in this. I'll probably do a couple more videos about this. Just uh, show some of the things that I used to be into when I was younger. 
think I'll have a video of um, comic books and maybe one of baseball cards. Those are other things I used to collect and I actually still have right now. Another thing I used to collect um, in the 90s, or maybe it was the late 80s, can't remember. Uh, they were comic book cards. Those were real uh, popular. Those you can trade away like money too. I think I was in uh, high school. Was I out of high school? I don't know. Can't remember. So let's see. As you can see, as we get further along, I get less and less cards because uh, the first series is hard to come by. They're expensive. And then you got a whole bunch of series in between, which are easy to come by. And then some of the later series are harder to come by um, without paying, you know, some extra dollar here and there. Yeah, very nice. Here you can see some more puzzles. And the puzzles were basically just giant uh, garbage pail kid cards, like I said. So, this is a, the puzzle, and it's a giant version of this card. Um, oh, they're right there. 21 cards. Okay, so I was off. Oh, there you go. That is an Egyptian, uh, Egyptian dude uh, basically throwing up into an ancient toilet. Nice. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, just a little uh, something about me. You know, this one was weird. It was basically two and one. You look at it that way, and then you can look at it that way. And these things, you know, it's like Pee Wee Herman. You know, I'll be looking on uh, Feebay, and if I just happen to see a, a set that's priced pretty good, you know, I'll, I'll bid on it. But it's not like this is a, uh, it's not like it's arcade stuff, so I really don't pay too much attention. But if I happen to come across it, yeah, I might buy it. Oh, there we go. That was another famous one, I remember. Because it was uh, basically a Freddy Krueger um, picture. I guess that's supposed to be uh, Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, this one I remember... I remember trying to trade it. Well, anyways, I think I'll end the video here. It looks like I've gone a lot farther than I anticipated. But yeah. So, until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.